Hey guys, I'm my privacy, here, and I've got a lot of material to get through, so I might as well just make a start. Alright, so the first article on our agenda, Ratko Mladic, the Bosnian Serb war chief who was responsible for the four-year siege on Sarajevo, has finally been caught. So the butcher of Bosnia was actually found in by the looks of it, in his villa in Belgrade, where he'd been living since the mid to late 1990s. Um, he's actually been underground since 2002, so the fact that they're caught him now is, well, it's a great thing. It's a shame that it's taken so long, but it's a great thing. But yes, he was the one responsible for the death of so many Bosnian Muslims. And yeah. All I can say is I'm glad that that chapter of history is over because, put nicely, it's one that we shouldn't have to have lived again. He's basically along the same lines as Hitler, um, Osama, um, who's the other guy? Uh, Saddam? Um, yeah. He basically targeted one group and said they're the scum of the earth and just continuously barraged them. So, for him to be arrested and put to the war tribunal is actually great. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that story. All right, another crime story which I'm sure we'd all like to know is about the Utah woman who tried to sell her 11-year-old daughter's virginity for 10 grand US. Now this is just wrong. Wrong on about a thousand major counts. All right, but. It's the rest of the story that's even more disturbing. All right, what was leading up to it? Apparently, um, both mother and daughter modeled lingerie for the man. All right, mother, fine. Daughter, no. All right. Apparently, for some strange reason. This was kind of all grooming and all this type of stuff, and uh, it's disgusting. That's the only word I can use to describe it. Disgusting. All right. Now the woman is facing jail at the moment. Um, two counts of aggravated sexual abuse and two counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. Um, and I'm sure there's probably going to be more charges laid on her. Um, as they go, because she's basically groomed this child for, yeah, for this, for this moment. Um, and I'm sure, pretty sure the man's going to be in jail as well, because the solicitation does not go too well, especially when it's solicitation of a minor, right? On the subject of jail, Lindsay Lohan starts her sentence in a beachside villa. I don't really care. Let's move on. Okay, over to Denmark. And this is going to come as a major shock for all Australians, especially given that the Crown Princess of Denmark is actually Australian-born. Apparently, Vegemite has been disallowed um, approval to be marketed in Denmark. And this has really got Australians riled up. But it's the reasoning that's become even more interesting as well. The fact that Vegemite actually contains added B vitamins and that type of thing has been has made it labelled 
a health risk, which is actually a general risk given to any types of foods that have added vitamins to it. And yeah, it's kind of got everyone wondering what on earth is going on. Um, but yeah, it's basically everyone's actually trying their hardest to get it approved for consumption in Denmark. Alright? Because it is absolutely marvellous. Now I know Americans are going to say it tastes disgusting. You lay it on a little too thick. Alright? Very thin layer. Very thin layer. Don't need anything more than that. And it tastes marvellous too. Alright? But yeah, Australians here are just upset that Vegemite's been... Well, they think it's been bad, right? Just been dis disallowed marketing, but... Yeah. Unfortunately, they can't sell it yet until they get approval to market it. Now, in Super Science News, um, apparently there could be more water on the moon than what we think. Anything up to about a hundred times more. Now, according to Science News, um, most of this water is actually stored in magma, magma crystals. So, yeah, we could actually see humans colonizing the moon in, well, it's foreseeable now. Alright? But we'll leave that one for the moment until they actually decide to say, yes, we could probably do it. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled. Now time to finish off the thing with news on my phone. And today's news from my phone is actually a good one. The second annual Robot Sumo Championship occurred in a Sao Paulo University Hall during Geek Pride Day. And I just find it surprising. I mean, you've got 20 centimeter high robots, the heaviest of them weighing three and a half kilos, wrestling. Now let's just, I call it crazy. And <coughs> if I can find a video of this wrestling, I would so share it with you guys. Okay, today's question, guys, is how did you celebrate International Geek Pride Day? Leave your comments in the section below. If you want to contribute to any of the shows in there, in the event series, click this nice little box here. Alright, and it'll take you to the YouTube message service. If you want to subscribe, the button's right at the top there. I was Alright, so, until next week guys, I'm Ray Wade Travis, this has been, and I'll see you all soon.